Hi, boys and girls. This week in science, we're going to be looking at animals still. And one of the things I'm focusing on today is called camouflage. So I'm sharing a story with you that I found on Epic. So if you want to find it later, you may. And it's called Clever Camouflage by Maria Gill. Now, before I read the story, I just want to point out something that you might notice when you're reading it with me. The word color is a very common color, and we know it's spelled by C-O-L-O-R in the United States. However, in this book, you'll see the word color is spelled C-O-L-O-U-R, which is also a correct form of the word color. That's how it's spelled in many other countries outside of the United States. I know in, in Great Britain, it is spelled like that because my parents are both from Scotland and that's how they always spelled it. So I didn't want you to think there was a mistake in the book. Okay, let's get ready to enjoy the book, Clever Camouflage. Some animals use one color to hide against the backgrounds they live in. A snake's green or brown scales are the same color as plants. Ooh, I could see that snake in the grass. A lion's fur is the same color as long grass. A beetle's shell is the same color as the earth. Parrots have feathers that match the leaves on the trees. Some animals change color to match different backgrounds. An octopus can change its color whenever it moves. It is a light color when it is on the sand in the sea. It changes to a darker color when it moves onto the rocks. Some animals change color when the seasons change. Arctic foxes change their coats twice a year. In summer, their coats are dark, like the brown earth. In winter, their coats are white to match the snow. Some animals use stripe patterns to look like their backgrounds. Zebra's wavy lines look just like wavy grass. The zebra's enemy, the lion, is colorblind. When zebras stand together, they look like one large striped pattern. Some animals use spot patterns to hide against the backgrounds they live in. Leopards use spots to blend into the shady spots under a tree. A butterfly fish has a large spot on the end of its tail that looks like an eye. This makes it look bigger to trick its enemies. Some animals use two colors to blend into their backgrounds. The light color blends into the sunlight. The dark color blends into the darker backgrounds. Hungry sharks use two colors so that fish can't see them from above or from below. Some animals use their body shapes to hide. Stick insects use their long, thin shapes to look like small sticks. Oh, boys and girls, if I look very carefully, I think that's it right there. I think, oh wait, I think it might be here. Oh boy, that's a really tricky one. I hope you have better eyesight than I do. Huh. Some birds can look like branches on a tree. A flatfish can lie flat under the sand. A crocodile can look just like a log. Some animals hide from the animals that they want to catch. Some hide from their enemies that are trying to catch them. They all use clever camouflage. Let's look at the glossary, boys and girls, as we've learned is at the back of the book. 
Background, the place behind something. Blend, mix together. Camouflage, to match the background. Danger, something that could do harm. Enemy, someone or something that wants to do harm. Okay, boys and girls, that's the end of the story. Again, there's clever camouflage. I hope you might read it on your own again and enjoy the lessons this week about animals.